here for a very long time. They have been successful. And today they're doing a handover of trophies. But let's listen into the leadership of this club. Why have they been successful? What keeps them going? And now uh, I'm joined by David Sankok, uh, Sankok uh, one of the leaders of the Stima Dust Club. Sankok, uh, good afternoon and welcome to KTN Inside Sports specifically. Uh, How has the journey been for you? Thank you, Jeff. My name, is, as you've said, is Sankok David, the team manager for Stima Darts Club. Uh, we are excited this afternoon today that uh, we have an opportunity to hand in the trophies that we, have, we won in the last concluded uh, international tournament that was held in Dodoma, Tanzania. And we won seven trophies in one tournament. We're equally handing over eight trophies that we've won within the national category. And so we are excited. The secret behind it is, is we can write and say that the discipline that the players of Team Adats Club have shown, uh, we can say in the region we are the most disciplined team. We have the most disciplined players. We've also uh, had our, our culture from the employer that the employer is keenly following each and every step that uh, the team is doing. And I think that has been a very great success that the team has had uh, compared to other clubs. So today, we are so privileged. Uh, maybe fortunately, we are, it's one year exactly the same date last year. We had an opportunity also to hand in some international trophies to the CEO. So the same date, same time, we were doing the same exercise. So for the last one year also, we have participated in various tournaments within the continent. And we won. In February, we were in your studios to display that. We have done it religiously. We went to the Doma. We displayed it. We won it. We have done it nationally. All the trophies that are there in this country, we are the defending champions. We are also preparing a team to go to Kampala. Before we go to Kam Kampala, uh, how does it feel that you have dominated Africa and East Africa? Uh, we have been so excited. In fact, now we are... The employer has been saying we've done a lot. We need now to go to the continental, uh, the international world. So globally, we're aiming to participate in the World Arts Federation. We are aware there is a game coming in Egypt, and there is one coming in Hungary in October. So I think we are set. We believe that our employer who are here are listening to that, and I believe they will be able to prepare this team to take part in that World Darts tournament. And now for Kampala, Uganda. The neighbors here, they've been making a lot of noise. Tanzania, making a lot of noise. you went there, you picked trophies as well. And now you're going to Uganda. Are you prepared as a team? How ready are you? Thank you. I, I can say that uh, for the last one month, we have been doing serious practice to our team. Uh, in the last weekend, we had a selection. We do an open selection. Every player in this team has an opportunity to represent the club. And we had an opportunity to do a selection and in our selection to have the best players to represent the team. And we are today unveiling that team that will represent us. So we feel that Tanzania and Uganda, when we left Dodoma, everybody was saying we are preparing for Kampala to meet with Stima. So I think everybody now, wherever they are doing practice, including these players from this country, are only preparing and practicing for Stima. So that is what has been keeping us to practice higher and harder. We are also aware that... Uh, we follow the international requirement that whatever we have selected a team, we ask the employer to give us an opportunity to take them to a camp. So maybe by next week also, we have a secret to take the players to a camp, at least for three days, to make sure we correct our mistakes. After that, we'll be ready to conquer the East African region. Thank you so much, uh, David, and uh, for just an elaborate view of the team as, as a whole. Now, let, allow me to talk to Madam Boss here. The last time I saw her was at the airport when she was receiving the team from South Africa. And here you are again. Uh, it's been a long time, a long journey with this team, uh, Stima Darts Club. It's been a good team that uh, displays uh, high potential in terms of Africa, a region, and also in terms of the world. They're now looking at Hungary as a stepping stone to conquer the world. What do you make of this team? It's, it's given you so much honor. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Faith Kaberege. I'm representing the management of Kenya Power. And I can say we are proud of the team. We thank management so far for the support they've given to the team. And actually, we've seen what we call returns on investment. Every tournament they've gone, it's a win-win. They've not lost any match. And as an organization, we are very proud of them. Like what my predecessor said, discipline goes hard in hard with performance. And indeed, the team is well disciplined. So we can say thank you to what they've done to Kenya Power. Thank you to what they are doing to the country at large. Looking at the investment you put in, people say that in sports, if you put money, you're losing it. But mostly, we've seen you put money and you're seeing trophies here. 
are there returns? Can you confirm that to the public that you can invest in sport and get returns instant? Okay, you see, for us, we can say there are returns in the sense that, you see, when they go out there, they don't go there as darts players per se. They go there now representing the company. I can say, for, uh, for instance, when they went to South Africa, Actually, the South Africans were talking of Kenya power, Kenya power, stima power, stima ah, stima power. You see, we are marketing the brand Kenya power, not just that. Is that not returns on investment? It is. All right. Uh, what's the long term? Uh, what's the long term plan for this team? Because this team has been intact for quite some time. I've seen all the young people also coming up. What's the long term plan for this team? Okay, the team, as you can see, of course, it's a mixture. The old ones will be exiting, and of course, there is succession plan. And of course, what we can say, there is hope for the team. There is hope for the team. Exactly. All is not trust. Yeah. Yeah. Allow me to talk to the young one here. <laughs> this is probably the youngest. I don't know if the ladies are the youngest, but uh, we'll just know that later. So, uh, what's your name, and why do you play that? Uh, my name is Justus Mungamu. I'm a player of darts in Kenya Power. I started playing darts in 2021, but I did not have a team to play for. But I joined Kenya Power in the last one year, and I do play darts there. Oh, nice. Yeah. So why did you choose darts? I found my father, my father played darts, but I didn't know what exactly what darts. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was in high school, I started practicing. Then uh, when I came to college, I found a team on where I can play that. Nice. So it's an inheritance from your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. So allow me to talk to the lady, the young lady here as well, so she can tell us how are you, what's your name, and uh, tell us why did you choose that? And not football, not volleyball, not uh, handball. People of your size can play handball well. <laughs> okay, I'm Jason Janjaroge. Uh, that's is a very easy game and is more energetic to us. As you compare to other games, I think that's the most I can say. It is a lovely game. If you play it, you love it. Yes. You love the game. You play it, you enjoy it, and you understand it well. That's nice. And probably, what's the future looking like for you? Having thought will be like, like saying for me, I want to see myself up. Yes, I don't want to be here. I want to grow and educate other youth outside to love the game and to enjoy playing it. Nice. Yes. Thank you so much and all the best. And now to the old man here. He has been in this game for a very long time. He has won many national titles. And if you know this, you see this face, if, you're, if you love your you love of darts, you'll know him, obviously. Uh, Senior. Uh, how has it been for you? And I see you are giving some knowledge and some tactics to the young team here at the uh, Sima Club. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a program to, to nurture the, the younger ones because we know that we are aging. And uh, we want uh, this team, Stima Dats Club, to continue and uh, to continue exerting. So I'm trying to give them uh, tricks how to win the games because I'm, uh, I've been in it for long. Uh, but what would you say, like, is there an age limit for this game? Because most people say, oh, it's for the old people, oh, it's for the drunkards, uh, the, there's a, a leisure game for those people who drink alcohol or take alcohol. Is it for the alcoholics? And also, is it for the old or young? Is there an age limit? Uh, Jeff, uh, what I can tell you is uh, that uh, this game is not for, for the drunkards, one. Because uh, myself, I'm a pastor, and I pray that. And uh, it's not uh, that it's not for the old, but uh, the old can pray because uh, this game has, uh, you just pray with your dad and the board. There is no roughness. So it's, uh, it's a cool game, and it's good to be prayed by each and everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much, Senior. Uh, now you can have a step back, and we see the handing over of uh, the flag to you as you head to Uganda. Uh, this is a trophy presentation by David Sangok to the boss there and the sponsors. And so you can see the, the best team in East and in the Doma, East and Central Africa. That is 2024. Uh, that's a good, that's a trophy presentation there. And now we can see. Uh, 
best in the national level also? The best team in the national team? The best number one in the national league in the country. And um, now the, the boss can present the flag to the captain as uh, we wind up here. So that's the national, that's the steamer club flag uh, handed over from the boss here at the Kenya Power to steamer that team. Yes. <laughs> All the best uh, team, uh, Steamer, as you ha uh, continue with the glorious uh, series of yours in Kenya and in Africa and East and Central Africa as well. Anyway, for now, let's uh, shift our gears to La Liga, where Barcelona last night had their wonderful match and they won and they're keeping on the hopes of keeping up with Real Madrid.